Disclaimer, I don't know very much about electronics. If I can do this, you can probably do it too. If you kill yourself, destroy your own equipment, catch fire, harm yourself or harm anybody else, that's your own dumb problem. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to take this treadmill motor, power supply, install it on my horizontal mill. Off camera I went ahead and I did a couple of things. I built this box to hold all of my electronics. It's a really simple box. If you can't build a box, then you shouldn't probably even be watching this video. But from my other video that I did about a year ago, I have since discovered issue of having to turn your potentiometer down and then turning it back to the setting that you want, which is a real pain, especially on, say, a lathe or, in my case, this small horizontal mill. I want to be able to shut it off and be able to turn it right back on and it's at the exact same speed. It's really simple. It's not like some secret voodoo thing. What would you need besides the treadmill motor controller and the motor itself? You need a potentiometer and this one is rated for 5k. You will need a single pole, single throw, momentary push button switch. This one's rated for 3 amps and 125 volts AC. I would highly suggest ordering it online at a different location because of the cost. Radio Shack has an insane amount of markup. You will need a switch. Here's my little switch and what is this guy rated at? This one's 125 volts, 3 amp, single pole, single throw, one feature that I'm going to add to this is I purchased off of good old eBay digital tachometer. So we're going to implement that. I was going to tie it in to figure out if I could pull 12 volts off of here, but I, I'm not messing with that. I'm going to keep this really basic. So this is an add-on feature. Think of it like that. You can take it off and uh, take it out of your, your build if you want to do that. Uh, you need a, a wall wart. If you're going to do the digital tack, then you'll need a wall wart, a.k.a. a power supply that goes from here in the U.S. 120 mains to uh, in whatever case you need for this. Recommended from the uh, seller that I bought this from, 12 volts. If uh, I were you, I would order it online don't buy it at a local store because the markup is ridiculous unless you find something or score something and if you're gonna hook up your digital tack then you'll also need a way to make a connection so I want mine to be nice and tidy and in this case again purchased from Radio Shack this is a coaxial DC power jack and you'll just need to get the correct size for your wall wart. Let's get into this. Let's see if I can ruin it and totally destroy it. Sweet! And just like I've mentioned in my other video, this is your motor controller, this is your power supply, and this is a, I think this is called a choke, whatever. It kind of evens out the voltage from what I gather. Again, I don't know much. <laughs> We're going to get rid of all of this garbage here. This would probably, your wire loom here, this goes to the control panel that goes up to um, the controls, you know, to set what speed you want to run at. That's all garbage. You can get rid of that. <clears throat> you may have this, uh, I believe they call it a Hall Effect resistor or something like this. Um, that's to gauge the, the speed. You don't need that. So there, that was easy. We don't need any of that. Your power cable. This has a 15 amp fuse. Then it goes to a switch. This turns on and off the entire system. And then I have my uh, blue and my white, and you'll probably find that on there, AC1 and AC2. Next order of business. I'm keeping the choke. I want that as a feature. So I have my black and 
then on my board it's uh, LG7 that goes to the choke coming out the other side of the choke this should go to your negative on the motor so this wire is connected to the motor your red your red gets plugged into it's labeled on here it says motor and it is labeled as LG6 and that gets plugged in there you may have these two blue wires that are on the back of this DC motor basically are for like a thermal protective thing inside of this motor they're not uh, going to be used in my application so they're just sitting out here in the breeze you can just roll them up tape them up if you want get them out of the way the thing that's left is what looks like a big giant mess here and it's really not that bad so I'm gonna take this and just move this off to the side so that I can explain this this garbage three wires here high wiper low high wiper and low they're gonna get hooked up to your potentiometer you know you obviously can't plug that in so I just had to hook it up with some hookup leads test it out if you want the feature whereby you can shut off the motor and then turn it back on and maintain your speed setting so say you had this set at just the right speed for your application you shut the motor off when you turn the switch back on, when you turn this switch right here, when you turn that back on, normally you have to turn this back down, turn it back up to the position that you had it. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little switch. This is a normally closed switch, NC, momentary switch. And we're going to put that on the wiper lead. And what that will allow us to do is to turn off this, say we need to turn it off, and we had it set at some particular speed. If we turn it back on, we no longer have to touch the dial. We can simply just press this button, and it will return back to the state that you've had it set at with this. Okay, at this point, I have everything wired up. Never hooked one of these up before, I've never uh, dealt with it. Hopefully it works. Bought it off eBay. Comes with a little lead here which plugs in, and it only goes one way. That's... We have our switch. This re takes the reading from uh, rotation, and what it's doing is it's connected to a magnet. Well, it's not connected to it. One thing I forgot to mention, on this plug, when you plug it in, depending upon your power supply, make sure that you check polarity. Uh, make sure that that is correct. On this guy here, it actually has a switch so I can go back and forth between different types of polarity. Now because I am deciding on what is what, I'm actually going to plug this in and check to see which of these contacts uh, to get them straight so that I know that I'm just keeping everything straightforward here. I'm an idiot when it comes to this stuff and there might be another fellow idiot out there like, my, like me and they need to have everything explained.
So I'm going to go ahead and I set myself to 12 volts. I plugged it in and now I'm just going to set my multimeter to DC voltage and figure out. I'm going to connect the positive to the inner contact. I don't know what the specific name of that is. Is that even right? So in this case, power is the smaller contact and ground is the larger contact. Don't forget your switch. Forgot to mention that. That's just going to go in between uh, this and this going to your power. going to do a little test here to see if this works. As soon as I flip the switch it should turn on the tack. So this is separate from the motor controller, anything from the treadmill. It's totally separate circuit. So we'll go ahead power it on. Stuck the magnet on the end of this drill bit. The reading might be a little bit off because that slight variation after a couple of tests I've noticed of me just moving my hand a little bit, that wiggling, it sends the counter just a little bit off. One thing I note on this is that there is a delay. So that's kind of annoying, but for the price, uh, you know, I guess I'll just suck that up as part of the price. Now you'll note when I stop, it hangs there at that 383. I don't like how long that it sits there and hangs out. Eventually it will sh shut back to zero. I just made this decision last minute. Add in a little bit of an exhaust fan so it blows out to, to take away heat if there would be any heat built up. So that is now controlled with the, with the tack. It works, it's awesome. Now I just gotta get it put on the machine.